Hi guys, Dave here. It's been a while since I've put out a video. I do have a bunch more ready to go. However, it's been nice this summer for working in the garage. So I have been working in the garage. <coughs> so what that means is if you haven't had many videos, there are more to come. Oh, there's some more pickups. There's a, a restoration project. There's stuff. But for the time being, what I'm going to do is I have a um, sip a little uh, project that I did somewhere over the summer. I'm sure I mentioned it in the video when it is, but I'm doing some work finishing off the Atari football, making it ready to use. So anyway, uh, the videos, you'll see that tonight, today, whenever you're watching this. But there are more things to come, definitely out of order. But I'll try to keep it as much in order as I can. So anyway, for now, you can say hello to my cat Nugget, who really doesn't want to be held up off the ground. Anyway, that's it. Uh, stay tuned. More to come. <clears throat> and please subscribe. Okay, it's Atari football night. And this is pretty much sat here. What has gone out of here? Okay, it's something. Oh, the old driving game. It's gone. The, uh, anyway, tonight I'm going to put some leg levelers on this guy. And actually some mounting plates. What did I do with them? Oh, here they are. Right in here. Some Bob Roberts mounting plates. And then there are some leg levelers in there. So anyway, uh, hang on. Okay, this is one way to attack a problem. And, and this one it's rotting out right where it's at. It's coming off anyway. Then screw it. The other ones up there and down there, those have uh, those I screwed into the hole. Yeah, this is coming out. You now something's rattling around in there. So I can get it through the. Well, now it's in the base. Sounds like another nut. Anyway, this bottom, uh, it has seen better days. Should be alright. I have this way of delaying my sentences. This still has three screws holding that thing in, and they're coming out. So anyway, I'm gonna grab a couple plates. These are nice plates. They don't come with screws though. <coughs> so luckily I've got a whole bunch of screws. I can really screw it up. So we'll, we'll probably put that on about there. And then we'll put another one similarly over here once I get those guys out of the way. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Well, I wasn't sure what size of screw to use. I've got one thing here, it's sheet metal screws that would work of various sizes. And I was wondering how thick this was on the bottom. Luckily there's a hole there. Just a little bit of the head would be poking through. If I went with those, that would be my first choice. They are big and strong. Yeah, 
these are not, the heads aren't big enough. <clears throat> so, so this is what we will use. Choice number one. Just line this up. Very exciting, isn't it? I thought you'd think so. Yeah, sort of. Anyway, <clears throat> anybody can see screws getting put in. As you can see, the first one went in pretty nicely. Not 100% straight, but who's going to see it? Now let's see about taking this guy out. My guess is there's not a whole lot left of the wood. And those are short screws. Probably pull them out with my hands. So much for those. We are going to need some pliers. Okay, got simple pliers and some vice grips. The vice grips weren't what I was thinking of, but they uh, were on top of the pile, so I got them. And there they go. One staple, two staples. Now we'll take our old friend, Mr. Caster. him part way in. And since it, there we go. It's a lot easier than prying with a screwdriver. Okay, take our next plate and mount it to the good wood all around that bad hole. Okay, here we go. In case you didn't notice, the power cord was all coiled up in there. It was a lot easier bring it down to the basement. So we'll take that out after we've done the other side. And there you have it. The first two are on. <clears throat> now it's time to screw the casters in. And, oops, as you can see, I'm going to try it with a nut on here. Uh, the plates come with, no, not the plates, the casters come with nuts. And some people like them, some people, some people don't. But I'm going to put them on here. It'll get it up a little bit higher off the ground, and we got the cord coming out, and so it'll give a little bit of room for that. So that'll be okay, and it's um, it's not like this basement has never had a little bit of water in it before, so let's keep the cabinet up off of the ground that much. So anyway, um, I'm going to screw these in, and then we'll flip it over. So you can see it. You can see what it looks like when they're in once I have it over. Here we are. The cabinet is flipped and pulled the cord out. And I got the pliers back out again because we're going to have some more staples and screws to take off. You can see in the upper right hand corner the leg leveler that's there looks as new as the rest. That's because it is as new as the rest. So when I brought the thing in, I wanted to have something to support it. So, I think we had three leg levelers on it at the time, maybe four, I don't know, Inclu including the old ones, but uh, anyway, I'll just unscrew that and pull that stuff out like I did before. So, here we go. And there you have it, four brand new leg levelers and two other feet. Okay, last night was Tuesday, August 11th. Today is two, Wednesday, August 12th, 20th, 2015. What year is it? And I was had great intentions of drilling out the lock together. I went ahead and did it and didn't say anything. I, I just was so excited to do it. I just went ahead and did it. And I even did that one too. I did this one first. And I swept up the mess with the shavings that came off. 
from doing it. And I've got some replacement locks here from HAP. The, uh, yeah, whatever it is. Uh, 3001 3, locks. Anyway, the, um, that's from Suzo HAP. So I'm going to put those on now. And took out the coin box. When I dumped it, last night we'd played like two, maybe three games. So I guess there was a dollar, dollar fifty maybe in there. <clears throat> maybe a dollar seventy-five depending on how many games my son and I played. And uh, it played great. So um, now I'm going to go ahead and put the new locks on and I'll be back. Oh, let's see how many plays this thing has on it. Let's see. What does it say? I get down here to read it. 27,870. So half of that would be about... Oh, 13... <clears throat> Thousand four hundred and thirty-five. Half of that would be let's just say sixty-five hundred round numbers. So this thing made about sixty-five hundred dollars in its day, or at least had that many plays. That's a lot. That's not bad. So anyway, I'm gonna put some locks on and I'll be right back. So here we have it. Take the uh, lock, take the key out, put it in, screw the backing nut on, put the the um, metal piece so that it's in the locked so it's position. Screw the screw on. I got to watch the finger I'm pointing with. Then you can put the key back in. And you have it unlocked. And something I did not put the I put this in backwards. I do not know. Is it too hot? I bet I have it backwards. So I said to take it out. I probably did not pay attention. That makes more sense having the holes facing directly. There we go. Oops. Close lock. Close lock. And it's locked. Still need to get a switch in here. I need to make it so the key goes the other way. Anyway, that's locked. That lock is on. Now we just need to do the same with the service door. Speaking of the service door, here's the insides. Let's see if I my zoomed in or backed out. I'm zoomed in. I'm backed out. And it looks pretty clean in here. Amazingly clean. Uh, Sure. What that is over there. Black. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it for now. It's not hurting anything. One thing I did find in here, in addition to the dollar uh, fifty or so in quarters in the coin box, was an extra coin mac. Not sure why it was in there. Nonetheless, there it was. It was laying right down inside the service d hatch. So maybe it was just to uh, just in case. But uh, I'd say it looks is it a little bit different. That's what that one looks like. That's what that looks like. 
I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, that's what we got. I'm going to put this one on. And that part of the job will be done. I think we might be done. No, we still have to put the switch on. Anyway. This is the inside of the service door. This would have gone okay. Um, there are a couple small screws that don't match on either side of the lock, on the right and the left, <coughs> that are holding down that metal piece underneath, which provides a little bit of backing for the nut around the lock to go down on, but uh, initially they were kind of halfway underneath the nut that had been there. So I had to get them out first before I could unscrew the lock, and then when I got it back on, the new lock didn't want to go in because it was just thick enough between the thickness of the board and that metal piece that it uh, did not want to, there wasn't enough threads left on the shaft of the lock to, to screw into. But I took the metal piece out, cleaned out some uh, shavings from when they, I guess they drilled it out a little bit deeper, I'm guessing, I don't know. But, um, that down. Then we gave it just enough room like tighten down the nut around the lock. And then I put the side screws on pulled up above the lock, which is okay because we're not anticipating changing this lock anytime soon. But the interesting thing is just how good a shape this inside uh, paper is. It's got information about settings, option settings, self-test, shows where the volume knob is, the on-off switch. I mean, this is stuff out of the manual. And there was no manual that came with it, but thanks to TNT Amusements, they happen to have a manual for sale on eBay, so I bought it from them. So thank you, Todd Tucky. So anyway, we have the new lock on here. Uh, well, almost. The interesting thing about this is, since the, the lock mounts in a vertical orientation, uh, I kind of screwed it down before I can show you that, but the, it is in the lock position now because the key's out. We'll have to mount this facing up. So I'll just screw the nut down and we can put the door back on. Okay, we're in the final stage of the uh, Atari football journey. We've brought in an expert. Nope, it's not to eat. This is a keyboard switch. So you press on it. And it's just like a little switch down here. And it goes to a couple of wires that are hard to see that are under here. Hey. So, what you might be able to see, there's a couple of shiny pinouts that need to come off so we can get to the exposed wire underneath, and that's why I'm sitting at the desk here right now. Would you leave that alone? Leave it alone. Anyway, uh, small screwdriver. Now I've got other small screwdrivers. Maybe I'll use this small screwdriver. It's not as small. Yeah. But we're gonna push the two things that you can't really see based on the focus and the lighting. Get those guys out. Hang on. Okay, here's the solution. Take a pair of needle nose pliers, pull back on the plastic tab that was there, and just kind of tw roll it on back. And that exposes the leads on the inside. See? Here you can kind of see solitaire in the background. So these are going to be our switch contacts. So now we'll take this guy over to the Atari football. Just for the sake of showing you what I'm about to do, your perspective, here we have our friend Mr. Tripod who's sitting up here. I put the camera on top, kind of swing you out and hopefully looking down at the coin door. That's the plan. Let's see if it works. Okay. 
I've pushed, let me see, kind of, sort of, maybe. We have, there are two coin slots. I'll say it calls this the outside of the door and the inside of the door. The inside of the door, there's no coin mech in it. So, I use, I took the, uh, the switch and inserted it through the coin return slot and up into, up and through, because there's really nothing that's holding it together. I took one half of the wire and inserted it into the black lead, which came off of over here, black, and then there were two reds. Black was back closest to the door, and the two reds were out. Not that it matters, it's just a switch. But it's my understanding that the two reds need to be jumpered together. So I just need to get a piece of wire, and uh, I will plug them together. So hang on just a second. Okay. Still see? Yep. Got a piece of solid bell wire, could be anything, but this is what I had. I think I got this back in like the fifth or sixth grade for something, and I've been using bits of it ever since. Probably for the portable doorbell. I'll show you that one another time. So we'll just shove this in here somewhere where it can make contact. And we'll shove that in there. And it's not going anywhere. Now let's uh, turn this puppy on. Let's see what happens. You might be able to see, I can't tell, the coin door light is on. And now, if I push this, I should hear it going up. And it did. Might have had a problem because it wasn't solid. Let it glue down. Okay. It is adding time. I might need to straighten out the. Uh, bits of wire, but next step, this has an adhesive back, so I'm just going to peel off the paper and stick it down inside the coin door. Yeah, I had a hold of it. There we go. Off. And it goes. Then we can close the coin door. We can close the coin door. Now, when we want to add credits to a game, let's reach in and answer the phone. Yep, that's adding credits. So now, our Atari football is complete. We now have 25 minutes of playtime, thanks to your time. I've hit it. But to get down a little bit closer, you can see. Maybe you can't. But, uh, which is in there. We are now up to 31 minutes of playtime. No more quarters. Darn it. Oh well. It is a fun game. It may have a black and white screen, but it's it's definitely worth the investment. If you have the chance to pick one up, 
I would suggest you do it. Still have a little bit of roughness around the edges, but uh, the game is from 1978, I believe. It's 2015 now, so it's been a few years. Anyway, that's it for now. Click the subscribe button and recommend the channel to your friends. And actually, let's do let's do some gameplay. We've got 30 minutes to go. We'll we'll turn it off and start over. Hang on. Okay, let's give you a little bit of demo of how the game works. Underneath the side to the left of the coin switch, there is a power switch underneath, which I'm feeling for right now. Hopefully you can see. It turns the game on. I just had this on, so it's coming up fairly quickly. But um, one side will be offense, one will be defense. You will have uh, offensive plays listed across the top, defensive plays across the bottom, and depending what you are, it'll tell you on the screen here who's offense and who's defense. Um, what you're going to do? I will uh, put the camera in. And try the new coin up switch. Okay, it got, starts off three minutes. And this side is defense, so we'll, oh, we'll just pick one thing. And this side is offense. I'll try this one. So this is offense, defense. I'm still offense. Second and 12. I didn't. Uh, Play when needed to. So, pick something there, and the ball's in play. I'm gonna pass, and it's gonna get blocked. Uh, I'm gonna try something different. And I'm gonna try something different. Past. Okay, now I'm going to start running. A little trap ball. One that chases after me. That's the computer player. There's one that's controlled by a human. Ah. And you got to roll and 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 but uh, the clock is continuing to tick down. We're at 2 minutes and 19 seconds. I've got 6, first and 10. I'm now defense over here. I was offense. And you pick plays. And away you go. And I'm doing nothing. This is the defensive guy. We're going to rush through. And I've tackled him. So it's pretty much how the game plays. It's a great two-player game, lots of fun. So, um, and the clock ticks down, and it'll give you a warning, I think, at 30 seconds. And when you do, if you want to continue playing, you put more quarters in, or is this now our case? You press the button again. And there we go. We got an extra three minutes, so that's how this game made money. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, and I'll see you next time. Bye.